Okay. Next news. Uh, Christian rock singer John Steingard reveals he no longer believes in God. John Steingard, the frontman of the Christian rock group called Hawk Nelson, has revealed that he, quote, no longer believes in God through an Instagram post on May 20th. He stated, quote, after growing up in a Christian home, being a pastor's kid, playing and singing in a Christian band, and having the word Christian in front of most things in my life, I find I am now finding that I no longer believe in God, end quote. He added, quote, I still find myself wanting to soften that statement by wording it differently or less specifically, but it wouldn't be as true. Despite the mass wave of criticism, Steingard has also been met with many supportive comments on social media. Um, is this guy famous? I don't know who this guy is. I mean, I'm not really into the Christian rock scene, but he yeah, does but seem to be quite popular. Their band has been together for like more than 15, 16 years. So okay, I'm, I'm going to read, read the top comment and I'm going to criticize the top comment. Okay. okay. Mordok, Mordok is saying, Mordok, wow, okay. Uh, someone I've never heard of doesn't believe in someone who doesn't exist. And this is news. What a bonkers world. All right. First of all, what? okay. So here's, here's, here's my problem with this. First of all, you know, when, when we had, one reason why gay rights was very successful in many um, Western countries was because people openly came out, celebrities or people that were known, came out and said, like, you know what, I'm gay. And they really helped normalize it, right? In a world that we live in, um, first of all, even if this is not important news to you, it might be interesting news to somebody. It's very interesting to me where when people like see a news, they're like, why is this news? This is not interesting to me. Well, then move the fuck on. This might be interesting to somebody else. Like, are you what? Are you like the authority that decides what should be interesting to people on, online? But, even, but the, even if you think this is not interesting or not important, I even disagree with you. This is important. This is, you know, people coming out and saying they're atheists more and more really helps normalize atheism especially if they're famous more so if they're famous this is very helpful and here's a here's a hypocrisy this per Mordek is saying oh why why should i care about this person's opinion i haven't never heard of them and he's giving us his opinion well i've never heard of you why is your opinion online right now i'm reading your opinion i have no idea who the fuck you are and you decided that your opinion is important enough to share to the world. Why, sh why is that? Why do you think that's important? Why is your opinion right now posted online? Who the fuck are you? Why should we care? Right? See how that works? <laughs> no, you, you know, everybody could put that there. Anyways. Um, but, so yeah, go on, Susanna. So, I mean, there was, of course, like a lot of backlash online, people saying that he was promoting the devil or that he's just lost and that it's such a bummer and like yeah okay first of all one the world doesn't revolve around you so just because you didn't hear about someone doesn't mean that they're not significant he was significant in his community right and so he has a lot of say in that community i mean and he made a post recently on instagram um six days ago titled dear christians and um, he's addressing a lot of the response that he's gotten back to this. And I thought this was really interesting. He says, Dear Christians, how you react when someone says they no longer believe doesn't just say something about you. It says something about the kind of God you believe in. If you react with kindness, love, and genuine concern, as most of you have, it says that the God you believe in is big enough to handle questions, strong enough to handle doubts, and loving enough to find every soul who is searching. If you react with judgment, condemnation, or big bitterness, it says you are fearful that God is not big enough to handle these hard questions and that he is not strong enough to endure our doubts. I just thought that was really interesting. I mean, he goes on for um, a long time, but um, he's saying oftentimes Christian culture is deeply uncomfortable with people's pain. And um, he has a lot of really good reflections on Christian culture and um, how 
he felt he could lose everything by being open about this, but he still decided to be open about it anyway. Yeah, that's pretty. Somebody, uh, another t the second top comment is by Paul. Why do people are so negative? He, Paul is saying he made enough money that he no longer needs to believe in God. Um, it's, very interesting. it's very interesting how people just know what goes on in people's mind over the internet. I wish I had that power. I wish I had these people's power to know exactly what people's intentions and motivations are um, without even meeting I mean, them or knowing. Yeah, go on. I mean, he, uh, he actually said that he doesn't want to sing any of his oldest songs, Christian songs, because he doesn't believe in them. Like, he mentioned this song specifically, like, drops in the ocean and the lyrics is about that God is all kind and loving and everything. But he said, I don't believe the biblical God is kind and loving. So I cannot sing while believing this. I cannot sing this song, even though he can make money if, if he sings his previous songs in bars and stuff. Susanna, yeah. Uh, and in terms of that comment of like, oh, he made enough money to get rich and not believe, he addresses that. Um, he wrote, if you're someone who follows me because of Hawk Nelson and my involvement in Christian music, you're probably thinking, wait, were you lying to me your whole this whole time? Were you just pretending to be a Christian? What about those songs you wrote? Did you mean those? And he said the short answer was that I was not lying. I did believe those things at the time. So it's not, a, he's not scamming anyone. This is just like personal growth or development, you know? Mm. All right, so let's go to the next news. But Susanna, when you uh, when you do the next news before you actually mention the news, tell people what the Dalit means because a lot of people are listening to the summary and they have no idea what you're talking about because if you keep saying Dalit, Dalit, people are like, what is this even about? Right? So let's put the explanation before the summary. But go on, next news. news. Thank you for joining us. Subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell thingy. If you haven't, I don't know why, what has, what's holding you back, okay? If you haven't subscribed to our channel, why haven't you subscribed to our channel? Explain that to us, please. Like, bell, <laughs> and also, if, you, if you're if you not getting notifications and stuff because YouTube is not telling people that we have shows because YouTube is like, oh, this person told us that they want to get your shows, right? They want to get your videos, but nah. You may, we think is no, and oh look, oh they also hit the bell button, but nah, you guys are too controversial. We want to show them mainstream stuff. We want to show them CNN or cat videos or whatever. But if there are people like, no, we want to see Atheist Republic, and YouTube is like, no, nah, we don't think you want this. So like, no, please show it to us. We say to you, we want to see Atheist Republic, and YouTube is like, no, we think we know what's better for you than you yourself. So to solve that. Link, there's a link in the description, uh, which is to our newsletter. So hopefully some of our, we could email it to you. So hopefully you get some of our content that way. Okay. So yeah, subscribe to our newsletter as well and share, share our videos because you know, we do get demonetized. That's an obvious on every one of our videos. So F that, but we don't care about <laughs> that anymore, but we also get deprioritized and that's even more damaging to us. Deprioritize. What does that mean? That means we're not, we don't show up on the suggested, you know, videos on the right and all that, you know, on the, on people's homepages. And that's how channels grow. Unfortunately we can't grow. So we need you guys to share our videos. So